President Trump supporters were arriving, and the mood had distinctly changed. Demonstrators soon climbing the walls and scaffolding, violently confronting law enforcement. The mob moved to the entire capital went into lockdown. But protesters were already inside. Some carrying Confederate flags. The law enforcement presence was no match for the sheer size of the invasion. And now many facing criticism as images of them showing little resistance are emerging. This man taking a selfie with a Capitol Police officer as other police stand nearby. In the House chamber, lawmakers huddled in the balcony as armed security barricaded the door. At one point, shots fired. A protester hit. She eventually died. For hours, while his supporters rampaged through the Capitol, breaking onto the Senate floor, into Nancy Pelosi's office, the president said nothing. By 4 o'clock, go on national television now. To fulfill his oath and defend the Constitution and demand an end to this scene. Minutes later, Trump released a video statement full of lies about the election to telling them to go home. So go home. We love you. You're very special. We love you. You are special. We're going to work with you about the people who are going to the Capitol building. protests in the summer uh, and you saw the riots uh, or more the, the police and the, and the National Guard and the Army and then you see this and you saw nothing, um, you know, it basically proves the point about uh, a privileged life, you know, uh, in a lot of ways. Um, you know, I'll say it because I don't think a lot of people want to. Uh, could you imagine today if those were all black people? Uh, storming the Capitol and, and what would have happened. A stark contrast from the past summer in Lafayette Park, where largely peaceful Black Lives Matter protesters were met with a military show of force. Physical confrontations. Heavily armed and armored National Guardsmen lined up on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial. The double standard on how law enforcement responded glaringly apparent, and not only in the nation's capital, over the summer in Kenosha, police officers at a protest over the police shooting of Jacob Blake gave armed white teenager Kyle Rittenhouse water, who later shot and killed two people. His lawyers say it was self-defense. Reminds me of what Dr. Martin Luther King has said, that there is two split different Americas. In one America, you get, to, you get killed by sleeping in your car, selling cigarettes, or playing in your backyard. And in another America, you get to storm the Capitol and... No tear gas, no massive arrests, no, <clears throat> none of that. NBA players had protested Blake's shooting last summer by walking off the court. And again, last night, dismayed by the perpetual double standard when it comes to police response, the Boston Celtics and Miami Heat walking off the court before the game. Describing those people the same way you describe someone who just stand there and make a chant and say, we want justice, we want peace. Stop using the same word. It's disrespectful. It's ridiculous. Um, and it's shameful, you know, to 
to keep calling them protesters. No, oh, protesters are terrorists. The drastic difference between the way protesters this past spring and summer were treated and the encouragement given to today's protesters who acted illegally just shows how much more work we have to do.